Now that you've gained entry, you've done your assessment of the situation you're going to be working in, the next area we're going to talk about is the delivery of your program. What's going to be the approach that you're going to use in delivering the program? What is the program going to look like? That's another key point because you've realized the uniqueness of this situation and how are you going to refine and tweak and develop that program so that it can be effective in delivery. And the final point being that we're going to talk about is the need to be flexible and compensate and adjust as you deliver the program. Because one thing with delivery, this is where we as sports psych consultants are like an athlete. We have to perform. We have to compensate and adjust. There is no one, two, three step approach to success in consulting. The journey is two steps forward, one back, three steps forward, four back, and be ready to embrace that as you deliver your program. First, the approach. In the early days of sports psych, what we did is we did the classic mental skills approach. We talked about relaxation, we talked about imagery, we talked about self-talk, we talked about goal setting. And those are very important skills that we want to have. No question about it. I want every athlete to have those in his or her bag that they can pull out when they need to use them. But I think what's important is the ability to integrate the skills the psychological skills, the mental skills into task relevant performance cues. Let me explain. When I started at Cal State Fullerton, I remember with our women's softball team, we'd go up, we'd meet every Wednesday from 12 to one, and I would do the mental skills program. And we would be in the wrestling room and I would have the gals lying down, relaxing, doing the imagery and visualization. And I remember our coach coming in one day and saying, Ken, I don't care that they can relax in the wrestling room with the lights out. I want them to relax three, two bases loaded. That really triggered it for me. That I had to integrate these skills into task relevant performance keys. And when you're talking sports psychology with an athlete, if you can integrate these skills into task, task relevant performance keys, they're going to buy into the program. So for example, the field hockey player is there in practice. She gets a pass from another woman. She stick stops it. The ball comes 12 inches off her stick. She gets the next pass. The timing is right there. Now she gets in the pressure situation. Her shoulders tighten up a little bit. The stick is more rigid. Now the ball, instead of coming 12 inches off the stick, comes off at 14 inches. The timing is off that much. That really takes the whole issue of inverted U, how stress affects performance, and it puts it into something that the athlete is dealing with every day. And the more we can integrate these skills into task relevant performance keys, that's critical.